Hello everyone, it's Doug McGuff with Ultimate Exercise Body by Science and DrMcGuff.com. This video is a short um, plea that I'm putting out to my colleagues in the medical field um, to look into a possible therapeutic option that I think might be very beneficial for the more severe presentations of COVID-19. And what I want to encourage um, people in the intensive care and critical care fields to look into is something called specialized pro-resolving mediators. Um, if I could just have someone stop right here and just put that term into a search engine for Google Scholars or PubMed and read the articles that are available on this topic, I think you will very quickly see the relevance of this potential therapeutic option in the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly in the more severe presentations that are proceeding into cytokine storm. So please put into the search engine specialized pro-resolving mediators and see what you think. Now for people that want to hang in a little bit longer, if they want to hear some explanation as to why I think this might be important, I will carry on. So an inflammatory response to um, an invading organism or an infection is composed of two components and they involve the activation of two different parts of the immune system. Uh, the first um, phase of this response is the innate immune response, which involves uh, chemical signals in the form of inflammatory cytokines activating a nonspecific immune adaptation to invading organisms. So these inflammatory cytokines trigger the activation of white blood cells, neutrophils, and chemical signals that indiscriminately attack an invading organism. And this is to try to quell the infection before it can get a foothold and also to allow time for the secondary response to an invading organism to give it time to ramp up and begin to function. So these inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-6, interleukin-15, tumor necrosis factor activate this response. As this response reaches its peak and starts to wane, another response called the adaptive immune response starts to kick in. And this is where you make specific antibodies against the invading organism that fit in a lock and key fashion to tag that antigen antibody complex for destruction. It's much more specific and much more targeted. So it's sort of like um, Normandy Beach versus a laser guided missile. Those two things are different. Typically what will happen though is when the acute inflammatory response peaks and starts to wane, you start to have a rise of other chemical messengers which resolve the initial inflammation. And these chemical messengers are called specialized pro-resolving mediators and they fall into four different specific classes. What these mediators come from is they are actually metabolites of omega-3 fatty acids like DHA and EPA, which should be very, very prevalent in our diet and thus very prevalent throughout our body in terms of cell wall membranes and other fatty acid structures. But the problem is, is in contemporary Western society, our diet is very deficient in those omega-3 fatty acids, which are the precursors for these compounds which resolve inflammation and prevent cytokine storm. Further, the older you get, the enzymes that convert these omega-3 fatty acids into specialized pro-resolving mediators start to wane with age. And if you have chronic inflammation or a very severe acute inflammatory event, those pro-resolving mediators can get consumed in the process. So when you have inadequate specialized pro-resolving mediators to shut down the cytokine response that initiated the inflammation, what happens is that inflammation spins out of control. And you end up in a cytokine storm with all the downstream negative effects of severe systemic inflammation. And that's what we're seeing in the more severe presentations of COVID-19. Now, while there's no magic bullets in medicine or critical care, I do think that there are components of treatment that may be very um, permissive towards recovery. And I think this is where specialized pro-resolving mediators could come in. And I think that what we're seeing when we see this severe progression of COVID-19 into a systemic inflammatory response 
cytokine storm, um, lung injury, all of those things I think may be a failure of a resolution of an aggressive inflammatory process because the more chronically ill and elderly people are the ones that are more likely to be deficient in these specialized pro-resolving mediators. I think this is a perfect class of people to test out these compounds because they are manufactured both in supplement form and can be made to be delivered intravenously for those that can't consume them. And I think supplying these pro-resolving mediators may be something that arrests the cytokine storm that proceeds to the severe presentation of COVID-19. Now I've sent out multiple emails to leaders in the critical care team and mostly what I've got is bounce back auto responses and I think it may simply be because these people are too involved in the battle at hand. But I'm hoping if this message gets out through other mechanisms that someone that has the leverage and the power to bring this potential therapy to this COVID-19 pandemic may be able to do so and it might, it just might make a major difference in this battle. So please, please, please look up in the literature specialized pro-resolving mediators. For Ultimate Exercise, Body by Science, and DrMcGuff.com, this is Doug McGuff. Thanks for listening.